Gracie County Public Schools plan to install new security in the next few months to help keep children safe. The system plans to spend about $85,000 due to a state grant from the Virginia Department of Education for extra security equipment. WSLS 10's Duke Carter spoke to the principal at one school where he says the equipment is necessary on his campus. It's a typical Friday at Grayson County High School as these students play bluegrass music for class. But in order for the students to get to class, they have to walk outside where administrators say there's not a lot of security. There's a guy standing, walking across the street right now. I don't even know who he is. Robbie Patton has been the principal at Grayson County High School for a year, and he says extra equipment like cameras are necessary because of how wide the campus is. Uh, come in very handy uh, for a school. If something happens, you can go back and see what actually happened. It helps us uh, gather information. Other equipment includes a buzz and entry system at the school, two-way radios for teachers who are in buildings not connected to the high school, as well as a two-way intercom system at the Career and Technical Education Center, allowing teachers to communicate with the office in case there is an emergency. The safety and of the campus and of the kids is a, a, a main priority. It should be our number one priority. Which is why leaders in the central office are glad to spend $85,000 in grant funding from the Virginia Department of Education to help make sure children are safe. They say otherwise, the upgrades wouldn't have been possible because they're expensive. You cannot put a price tag on the safety and security of our students, of our staff, and our community. And we are extremely grateful which puts a smile on parents' faces, knowing the schools are making sure there's extra security. Adding these features for our children um, in public places where parents can't always be there with them to be uh, safe, um, I think it's a great, great move forward. School leaders say the equipment will be installed by March of next year. In Grayson County, Duke Carter, WSLS 10.